Hey guys, I'm Anthony and I'm from Youth with a Mission. For this trip in Puerto Rico, we wanted to focus on hurricane disaster relief and more specifically, we wanted to help a, a gentleman named Mr. Julio Ortiz. Uh, we met Mr. Julio last December when we took a trip to help out because of the hurricane. We felt like there was a burden from the Lord where we needed to come back and build Mr. Julio a house. And the reason is, is that he's had a, a tough go at it over the past 20 years. Uh, Mr. Julio lost his wife 20 years ago and shortly after he developed tongue cancer. Uh, the doctors tried everything, but nothing uh, was gonna save his tongue. As you can imagine, it's totally changed the way he lives. He works 12 hours a day plowing a field on the side of the mountain that he lives on. He grows vegetables and fruits, and that's what he makes his income with. Of course, when the hurricane comes and destroys his house, there's little he could do to build it back for himself. For the past three months, we've been raising money to build Mr. Julio a house. And finally, the, the time came when we could head down there and do that. So God put together this crazy team from all different backgrounds. Uh, we came each with their own skill set and we put together this house. Uh, we met some obstacles along the way. Uh, of course, lumber is hard to come by in a, in a nation totally destroyed by hurricanes. Uh, we had to go to five different cities and eight different lumber yards over three days in order to find all the materials for this house. Uh, of course, everything is highly priced right now in Puerto Rico uh, because of demand. And so money uh, was, was short, but again, God provided that. So once we get all the supplies to the place and we have all the characters in place, it's time to build this house. And it was a fun 22 hours, but we got it done. So upon completing his house, uh, we saw the most emotion out of Mr. Julio that we had seen in the previous three days. Uh, he's teary-eyed. Uh, giving us hugs and actually posing for pictures, which was rare. As we were leaving, he was unloading his shed where he'd been living and, and filling up his new house with the belongings that, that he had salvaged from the hurricane. So we don't quite know if Mr. Julio is a believer. Um, what he tells us is that he's seeking a relationship with Jesus. I'm sure that there's a lot of questions in Mr. Julio's life, but one thing he kept asking was, what is our motivation for being here? It was a perfect opportunity for us to say that we love Jesus and that allows us to love you and this is why we're doing that and so despite not quite being able to articulate his words and, and tell us what his relationship like with Christ is uh, he does say that he is pursuing one we can only pray that in future trips that we make to Puerto Rico that we come back and he's on fire for the Lord and he has his own testimonies that he's developed So trips like these are a common occurrence here at YWAM Tyler. Uh, I'm fortunate to have been on this last one, but I hope that you're on the next one with me.